ever had a motorcycle that overheated on you, this is your solution. These love jugs, your bike will never overheat again. Even though the bike's standing still with the fins moving, it's like the bike's moving at 50 miles an hour and it's cooling off the fins. Makes a lot of sense. I just opened the package and inside the package you have the two fans. He gives you a brand new one of these. It's thicker than the original that's on there. Backing plate and this other thing. He told me to use the two screws, but do not use the two washers that come with it and do not use this red connection because I don't need it. Okay, so what I did was I took the horn off the bike, just put this one bolt. Disconnect the two wires. You got a yellow and a black. Yellow goes to the front, black goes to the, to the back. Okay, I took the horn off the bike. Uh, the, well, I'm in the process of connecting the horn uh, to the fan. So I'm gonna put some Loctite on. Make sure everything is perfectly centered and then I'll go and change this piece out. This is a very, very important factor. See the way I'm holding these channel locks onto this uh, rubber bushing that, you know, it's that piece that they add in, the extra piece. That's actually widened into this is the original that came off my bike. And the way I'm holding it is, if you notice, I got the channel locks on the metal part. It's going through the rubber onto the metal. Do not line up your channel locks in the center of the rubber without grabbing that metal part. Otherwise, you'll shred the rubber. And he said it's a nightmare then to get off. So he stressed that, and I'm stressing it. Do what he said. I did it. It worked great. Put on a pair of gloves because your hands are going to be super close to the fins on the, on the jugs. You don't want to rip them up. So just take your time. Squeeze super tight, you know, and grab that metal, turn it, and it should come off nice and easy. Now, when you go to put it on, this back thread here, where I'm pointing at, the back thread there only, put your Loctite on. So, and, and put it on hand tight. Then what I did was I took my channel locks and I just gave it like a little quarter turn you know, to tighten it up a little bit more. So, you can do the same thing. Don't put the Loctite on the front, he says. I bolted the horn and the fan to that piece that they gave me, that rubber grommet that they gave me. And I ran the wires up under my gas tank, through my frame, and to here. Now that gets plugged into an auxiliary outlet that I'm gonna have to splice these wires and connect it to the battery, maybe put an on and off switch. These are on and off switches here. These light up, these switches up here, if you, if you could see inside the, right inside here. These are two lights, but they're actually switches. So I guess I could just shut them off, you know, when I shut my bike off. They do make a splitter also. The only problem is these three on my bike are the only ones that fit this four pin and it's uh, not happening. What I did was I wired the fan into a quick disconnect instead of going directly to the battery. Now the reason I did that is I already have a quick disconnect on my bike for my lithium battery. That's the charger for the battery. So if you connect the wire, to, you know, to a, uh, from another quick disconnect, if you cut off the connection, the four prong connection that they have, it's just a positive and negative wire, one red, one black. That's all it is. So if you take another quick disconnect, it's red, and black, positive, and negative, and you wire it. What I found was when I first did it, the red lights on the fan came on, but the fan didn't work. So that means that you have to reverse the polarity on it. So you just change the two wires around, just, just going from one to the other. Plug that in. You could probably hear it. There you go. 
See the two lights are on? So instead of manually shutting off the fan lights, instead of manually shutting off, all I have to do is unplug the quick disconnect, plug my battery charger in. When I go to take the bike out, unplug the, the battery charger, plug the fans in. These will automatically go on because I'm going to leave them on. No sense in shutting both switches. Pretty cool, huh? Look at that. That's amazing. And these things will never let my bike overheat again. This is a really good deal. Once you buy your set of lug jugs and you install them, and your friends see them and they want to set if they tell love jugs when they're buying their set that you referred them and you give them your name love jugs will send you 25 dollars for the first nine people and then a hundred dollars on the tenth one uh, i believe that's correct now if you use my name my referral code which is Biker New York at yahoo.com. That's B I K E R N Y at yahoo.com. I'll get $25. So hopefully you'll use my referral name. Then once you get yours, your friends will use yours and so on. And, and everybody wins. Every You know, like you pay for these fans, they really do work. They're phenomenal. Uh, just that, that alone, it's worth every penny without getting anything back but this is like a super bonus you know and it's really cool so you could actually make your money back just like i'm hoping to make mine but like i said it's really not about the money it uh, i bought these because it works and it i'm hoping it's going to help you i know it's going to help you out too